Hey, what's up? This is Ned from Title Fight. We're here at Armageddon in Harvard Square in Boston. Run for cover gave me 50 bucks, and this is record selection. Looking through the new arrivals, punk and hardcore seven inch box. Tom from Slingshot played drums in Rain on the Parade. They're like an old Pennsylvania straight edge man. Did you ever see them play? No, I never saw them. I didn't know this came out on my war. That's cool. What's that? This is uh, the Snobs. They're from Texas. Uh, they're like 15 year old kids, and it's like negative approach worship. And I have two copies of this, but I, I buy it every time I see it just because I like it so much. They played, um, they played Posse Numbers 02, and they showed up, and they were seriously, I think, 15 or 16 at the time, so their dads were driving them around. Their dads rented a, uh, an RV, and they, drove the, they took them on tour, and apparently they played Posse Numbers on Father's Day. So they sent out the, the show to their dads. But my tape player like eats tapes, so it sucks. I put it in and it, and <laughs> sometimes they don't come out. This is Dad Puncher, it's Elliot from Touche's new band. And uh, Jeremy from Touche just put out their seven inch. So that's cool. <laughs> Haven't got a copy of it yet. I saw them play in Philly on that, that uh, Tiger Shot tour. They were cool. Yeah, I mean, this is real cool. This Blast sticker, this Warzone sticker. Blast is a old California band. They were on Wishing Well for a minute, but they're cool. They just put like a new, a, a new record out on a Southern Lord Warzone, of course. That's right, there's a cool COC sticker. Oh, wow. Rest in pieces. That's the coolest thing there, I think. I've never seen that. This is Blacklist's last LP. No one deserves to be here more than me. It's one of my favorite records in a long time. It's, uh, it's really cool, really different. It's definitely a record to check out. Will recorded that, right? Yeah, that was like the first record that Will did, pretty much, um, at Studio 4, I think. This is uh, Dag Nasty, Can I Say. It's like a more recent Discord press, but this is one of the, the best records of all time. From the era when DC was getting really melodic and Brian Baker and Dave Smalley and everything. I've got two copies of this already, but it's a good one. Um, Murray Street, oh, Embrace. This is an Ian Mackay band. The record came out after they broke up, but this is one of my favorite records too. It's another, you know, Discord release. That's one of my favorites. I bought uh, a first press copy of that off Jeff Nelson, who played drums in Teen Idols and Minor Threat and stuff. I bought that um, off eBay off him. Came with a little note and everything. So I had that. This is uh, Blake from Jawbreaker's new band, Forgetters. This LP came out last year. But it was um, definitely one of my favorites of last year. It really grew on me really quick. And uh, it's a little more, a little more like early Jawbreaker, but it, there's some really cool melodic parts and there's really good lyrics, obviously. These are both MIS LPs. Rev just re-released them. This one's a little more straightforward. This is the first LP, Difference Between. And this gets a little more melodic, Nothing to Hide. Nothing to Hide was, it was an important record growing up. I have a couple copies of this. I don't have any copies of The Difference Between. So, uh, yeah. It's a run for cover release that I feel like doesn't get any attention because they never played any shows, but Memorial was Pete Appleby from uh, Renee Hartfelt. It's a cool record that doesn't get enough attention. I stole one from, I didn't steal it. I got gifted it. But I got one from the run for cover office last time we were there. Mom. There's another Teenage Cool Kids. I haven't heard from them in a while. But they're cool. This is the best record of all time. This is the uh, the new Rev repress, rep repress with the Wishing Well layout. If you don't have that. You done? No, I said if you. I have it. I, I have it. That's it. That's it conceded. Let's redo that. I had that one, yeah. But if you don't have that, you should check it out. This is uh, Justice Escapades on Youngblood. There was a European press and an American press. 
They kind of took what they were doing, which was kind of a straightforward, late 80s New York influenced sound, and they really pushed it, push it to the edge, if you will, to use their lyrics. And uh, this is a record that, you know, with the likes of like Planet Mental and, you know, a couple other records in that time that really, that they were, they did something really cool. And I'm definitely going to pick that up. Oh, this is a Necros repress with some bootleg. But they're a uh, cool early Detroit band. This is Rest in Peace is My Rage. Same thing as a sticker over there. This is uh, members of Sick of It All doing some really rocking, kind of hardcore. Um, this is really cool. Definitely got to pick this up. So let, me do, let me do my math real quick. This is the real. That's the real guy right there. This is uh, No Tolerance's last seven inch. Came out a couple years ago now, but I've been collecting this since it came out. So, second press. I need this one for the collection. Are you over or under? Huh? Are you over? I might be a little over, but that's fine. Thanks, man. Hey, what's up? Just finished here at Armageddon, my favorite record store in Boston. Got some records that I wanted, got some records that I needed to complete my collection. So, thanks for Run for Cover for having me.